Hey, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Technique Sprint textile jacket available at RevZilla.com. Now the Technic Sprint is a three season cold weather jacket. It's waterproof, it's breathable, but that layer of waterproofedness is actually baked in and non-removable. You do have a full sleeve thermal liner though that you can pull out so you can make the temperature range a little bit more apt to handle maybe that warmer day in the fall, the warmer day in the spring. So keep that in mind. As far as summer goes though, you don't have any direct venting through the jacket. So in the summertime, you're going to be a little bit warm, potentially too warm. Let's start with the vents. We might as well hit that before we get into a lot of the other features here. Three vents available. There's one on the back that goes across the top, but really what you do is you have these indirect vents that are going to vent to the liner underneath the arms. So again, staying with that three season cold weather theme. Let's talk about fit here. Peter's about six foot, 195, about a 44 inch chest, 42 inch chest, right in that range. Peter's wearing a size 42, and as you can see on his frame, he's taller than I am. He fills it out, but it's a little bit longer in the shoulders, a little bit long in the arms. So for those of you out there that might be a little bit taller, might be a little bit thinner, might not be, might want something that has a little bit more of a thin cut, but then has some extra length in the arms, Peter's probably about in between sizes here, and I'm gonna call you a 42. So Peter would be between a 40, 42. I wear a 42, but it's because I have such broad shoulders and it's actually a little bit long on me. So keep that in mind, and remember, always ask our gear geeks if you have any questions that you need answered, and I'll get to that in a second. So we look at the rest of the jacket, there's a lot going on. 600D Cordura, scotch light panels that are 3M all over the place. This is the high-vis version. There's also going to be a black and silver version. You're looking right around that $250 price point. And then from here, you'd go up to something that's a bit more beefy, a bit more adventurous, and that's going to be like the uh, freeway within the Technique line. Now, if we look, it's YKK zippers throughout, multiple areas of adjustment, both on the forearms as well as on the outside. You can see it on this side, you're gonna see it on the outside of the bicep. Five different pockets, so you have pockets from the top down here that are gonna be, I believe, waterproof, and then you have hand warmer pockets on the back side. If I scroll down here, you're gonna see Peter's hand goes in. That's actually a fleece line pocket, which is a really nice touch. You also have this pocket here, which lives rogue here up on the left breast. That's going to be a horizontal pocket, and there's a big map pocket on the back underneath, and then you also have, you know, I think, what do we call this? The bridge and tunnel pocket, where we're, you know, it's easy for your uh, toll money or anything you need to get to. I always, on my jackets that have that spot, I always love to keep a chapstick there as well. Looking up at the collar, it's a neoprene line collar. Pretty basic. If I had to nitpick on the Technic Sprint, I would say that I would love to see a more technical collar with maybe a loop back or maybe something a bit beefier from a connection standpoint, knowing you're going to be wearing this into the winter months. But again, for this price point, that's one of the few gripes that I'm seeing with this jacket. Like I said, it's 600 Denis. Big Vizalon zip as I come all the way down. That's the beefiest of the YKK zipper family. They're kind of, I don't want to say proof, but they're very good at deflecting any kind of gunk that would get in there. They do a great job at functioning even when they're all nastied up. So if you want to take this out and really beat on this jacket, you don't have to worry about the zippers failing on you. YKK zipper, that's a water resistant zipper on the inside. And notice the offset on the zipper, the style in which that flap goes over. That's done to give you an extra layer to create more space between where this zipper would be and that zipper would be versus lining them up and you're gonna have a harder time for water to wiggle its way through. Because remember, the waterproof breathable liner is actually baked into the outer shell here. It's a membrane that lives behind it. So if we look towards the inside really quickly, you're gonna see here's our thermal vest. It's quilted. YKK zipper, you're gonna be able to zip that guy all the way out. You can see the inner lining here. Again, it's not mesh, not meant for that warmer time of the year. And we do have a seven inch um, pants connection zipper along the back. Also notice we come up, we have a Trico interior collar here, which is that soft, very nice microfiber material that's not gonna chafe. And then I did talk about the neoprene ring around the top. So leave it like that, Peter. I want you to turn that way. Let's talk about the armor for a second. So you have CE Knox Light armor in the shoulders as well as the elbows. It goes all the way down the forearm. You can access that armor through the backs of the elbow. You can see here, I could pull it right out. And then one of the other cool things that we see is we have the CE rated external piece as well that adds another degree of shock absorption through this hard pad that lives that's sewn into the outer patch here. So again, another area for protection. Lift your arm for me, Peter. Multiple areas of adjustment along the hip, along the mid of the body, around the kidney area. Turn backwards for me, Peter. 
It does come with a non-CE rated back pad. You can upgrade that pad to a Knox TP2. You could also go for a CE level 2 rated back pad through the Force Field line of armor. You know, Force Field's making all that line of armor that come in different shapes that fit other manufacturers' jackets. So nice stuff if you want to get past the basic foam that's included with this jacket. And it's not just a basic temper foam. It's a little bit tougher than that. Big scotch light panel across the back. Big exhaust fan up here, but remember there's a liner behind it so it's not that direct ventilation. You do have some adjustment through this snap, two position. And then one of the other really cool things is when we get to the collar, you have this waterproof, a waterproof hood that comes out. And Peter, I think you're going to get annoyed with me because I'm going to pull the hood out. But as I unroll the hood, you're going to notice, here we go, we're going to put it up here real quickly, waterproof up to about the ear level, the area that's going to be exposed to the back of your helmet. But once you get that past that, it's a stretch, comfortable, lightweight material because you don't need that waterproofing under your helmet. It's just going to make you sweat. So again, just good coverage for the back of the neck. We can pull it down. Now, before I spin you back around, Peter, I do want to note that there's also that big rabbit pouch here along the back. It's a matte pouch, but it's also a great spot that you can throw your thermal liner if you're on the fly and you need to take it down and throw it into the back. Come back around for me. So we talked about function, we talked about protection, we talked about fit. You know, two colors available here in the Technique Sprint jacket. There's a lot going on here for sub $300. This is a ton of bang for the buck here within this jacket. And they've just done a good job of thinking through what the use would be for something like this into that fall, winter, spring, in my opinion, great touring, sport, and commuter style jacket here from Technique. So if you have any questions about it, we surely want to hear from you. We want to help you size it up. Leave us your comments or your feedback on our product page, on our YouTube page, where you can always join the community there. Subscribe, stay up to date with all the latest gear reviews that we're constantly rolling out. And our gear geeks are here to serve you. So everybody under our roof at Revzilla Rides, see us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Shoot us a line. We'll be happy to answer all your questions or help you compare and contrast the Technic Sprint against any other jacket within our line here at Revzilla.com. As always, it's over $39. bucks. we will ship for free. We'll exchange for free. No restock fee if you need to send it back to us and get our team's little cash on any order over $100 to be applied to your next order, our way of continuing to save some money in the long run. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the Technique Sprint textile jacket available at revzilla.com technique. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.